Hey everybody, I'm Elizabeth McSwan from Emac and Hedwig, and today's video is the unboxing of the new Sony 200-600mm f5.6-6.3G. to G. So here we go. So this lens is here, guys. I am so excited to be opening this for you. It is a long time coming. Ever since I read about this lens being on the Sony roadmap, I was basically checking Sony Alpha rumors every single day for months and months until it was announced. It was finally announced a few months ago and I pre-ordered it and here it is. When I was shooting with Canon as a secondary lens, I had the Sigma 150-600C, the less expensive, kind of less robust version of their two lenses, the other one being the sports. That lens was fantastic. It was really, really sharp. It was lightweight. And I used it in situations where I knew there was going to be plenty of light and I wanted to have the 600 millimeter focal length. I wanted to travel a little bit lighter if I was going on a hike with friends, but I still wanted to have a camera in case there was an opportunity. And also I would bring that lens on whale watches in situations where you, it just doesn't make sense to have this huge, big, bulky lens. That lens was extremely adequate most of the time and I really had a lot of fun shooting with it. Once I transferred over from Canon to Sony and was using that lens with the MC11 adapter, the slightly slower AF speed that I noticed on the Canons but could pretty much live with, it was even more noticeable on the Sony cameras. And AF accuracy and speed just became kind of an issue and I did end up selling that lens as part of my transition over to Sony. I also knew that this lens was on the roadmap by that time, so I knew that I would eventually be getting this lens and it couldn't come fast enough. And I know that this lens, that with this lens, there's not a lot new here in terms of focal length and aperture. And we've had this already for a long time with the Sigma and Tamron lenses. But the thing that is exciting to me about this lens is that it is the first time that we're getting a 600 millimeter focal length with a native lens in the full frame market. That I think is important, especially with the Sony cameras, because the Sonys, I think, just perform noticeably better with the native lens than they do with the third party lens. So to be able to have this focal range on a native Sony with its new AF technology, to me, is just really, really exciting. And I can't wait to photograph with this lens. So let's get it unboxed. in there. There you go. Order form. Don't need that. All right. There she is. This is definitely a larger box than I was expecting. I don't know what exactly <laughs> I was expecting. Oh, here we go. That's what it was. Okay. Get it in there. So we have this. So this is a, so that's the, that's the lens case or lens bag rather. And this is a strap. I'm going to assume when we get in here that there are like, in, like the 400, there are kind of little loops, little metal loops that you can loop a strap onto the lens itself for better carrying. Here we got a bunch of paperwork. I'm not going to read. Okay. this. And here she is. Look at that. The, the lens hood has got to be in here somewhere. I think it's in this little thing here. Yep. And yep. Yeah, so that's the lens hood. Unlike the 70 to 200 and the 1 to 400, it doesn't have a little window, so you could adjust a filter if you wanted to. Although I will say that I've never used a filter on on a lens, on a wildlife lens. Um, I bought one for the Sigma 150 to 600. I bought a polarizer, and it was basically a complete waste of money. I never used it. So. There we go. Get that in there. 
Now, what I love about this lens, and you guys probably know this already, especially if you've watched the Sony event videos of all the YouTubers that went to the Sony event and they were able to test out this lens, what I love about it is that the zooming is internal. It's just so awesome. That was something with the Sigma, even though you could lock it in place, you could lock it in the 150 millimeter position so that it was the shortest that it could be. So that way it wouldn't creep on you when you were carrying it. But that meant that if you saw something that you wanted to take a photo of and time was of the essence, which it usually is in wildlife photography, it meant that you had to unlock, you had to bring the camera up to your face, you had to unlock the like locking mechanism that was keeping it from, from floating down, and then you had to zoom it back out, which of course loses time, right? So having everything being internal like this and being able to keep it at 600 millimeters is just really great. The focal ring is just, it's so smooth as is the focus ring. And as you can see here, they do have, there are some places where you can put that strap. You have a bunch of buttons here that you normally have on lenses. I don't think there's really anything new here. You get a switch from autofocus to manual. You have control over your focal range. If you know that you're gonna be photographing something that is, either, that is a certain distance away from you and you really wanna capitalize on a fast AF speed, you can choose to basically limit your focusing distance. And I, I have to say, I never use this button. I just feel like most of the time it's, I just feel like it's a nuisance. I just don't think that it's worth having to think about with the Sony cameras, especially since the AF systems are really great. This, this next one here is the, is the image stabilization or optical stabilization as Sony calls it an on or off. And then I think there are different modes, modes one, two, and three. I think that has to do with the AF system, I basically never use these. The tripod collar looks like it's removable here. Yep, it's removable fairly easily. If you know that you're not gonna use it, you just loosen this, I think. Oh, and you have to press this button and then it just lifts off like that. So it's got a couple of different threads here on the foot, a couple of different sizes, as you can see here. So you have some options in terms of what plate, if you're gonna put this on a tripod, what plate that you want. I will probably end up replacing this foot with a third-party foot so that the Arca Swiss kind of cut is is integrated into the foot. I really don't know why camera more camera manufacturers don't do that. It's much more convenient to have that than to put an Arca Swiss plate on a foot like this. Having to worry about putting a plate on here and then making sure that it's always screwed in tightly, it's just, it's just a pain in the butt. So I really highly recommend, and I haven't looked into this yet, but I really highly recommend if you're gonna be getting a lens like this, any kind of longer lens, if it's not Arca Swiss compatible, getting a foot that is, because it's just so much better. So that is the unboxing of the Sony 200 to 600 millimeter. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. You can also find me over on Instagram. I share a lot of my work on Instagram, including images that I'm gonna be getting with this guy. So please feel free to check me out over there. Also, I'm on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. You can get early access to videos like this along with a bunch of other really cool stuff. So please check that out if you are so inclined. And until the next video, everyone, take care, happy adventuring, happy shooting. See you later, bye.